What's going on guys and girls, my name is Van Gils and today we have got a second inform Royce review. We're going to start with the goalkeeper now and I've used him in so many squad builders over the last week. It is Manuel Nyo I'm just loving the Bundesliga at the moment, it's so good. Defensively and in the midfield, it's just such a quality league. I'm not too certain about the attack. The striker I used in today's video was such a little gem, such a great player. But we're going to talk about him as we get towards him. And this is what I mean by a defence, guys. We're going to stick in two very average centre-backs, but are actually so good at the same time. We've got the ex-Arsenal defender and we've also got Joel Matip. Uh, I was going to say Caribbean then, what am I on about? Cameroonian player, he plays for Schalke and he, look at the pace defending and heading down the, on this guy, he's 79 overall but I think that's completely irrelevant, he's got good passing at 72, brilliant pace, 81 defending and 82 heading, I mean if I looked at that I would put him up as a high 80 rated because the things that matters are really high there guys, he's a fantastic defender. And same with Giroud, really. I actually think he's a really good defender. Uh, Dribbling-wise, he's not the best. But if you look at his stats that actually matter, was in... God, I really can't talk. The stats that matter, then they're actually all green. So I don't understand why they're rated so lowly. It's obviously to do with the other stats, like dribbling and stuff. So I can kind of understand in a way. And left back, we've gone for David Alaba. He's got a couple of informs, but I wasn't prepared to pay extortionate prices. I mean, you can see how, how much I've got up there in the top right corner, not a lot. Uh, I used Alaba this time because somebody bitched at me the other day for using a silver left back. So I thought, well, screw it then. We're going to use the mainstream Alaba. And we're going to move on to the bit of variation in the side now, which is the Swiss side of things. And we've got Lichtensteiner. Surprisingly enough, I really enjoyed this guy. I mean... If you look at his stats, that's phenomenal. Everything is like above 70 and it's really, really, well, apart from shooting, everything that matters is above 70. He's a really good player and I, sh I don't use him enough. I should probably use him more because I don't really like the Serie A right back, which is usually a bate is what I use. But I'm going to try Lichtensteiner from now on in a lot of more squad builders. Going to move on to another Swiss player now. It is Dismaley, the inform. I got him for like just over 10,000, I think. And he was a little gem as well. If you look at all his stats, he's very balanced. He's a very balanced player. He just kind of runs up and down the pitch, puts in the tackles, gets the ball, passes very well, has some good shooting as well. Uh, he's just an all-round player, really. He's one of those players that don't make many mistakes, but at the same time, they can't do anything spectacular like jog around a few people and score a screamer from 40 yards out. So we're going to move on to the central midfielder now, and of course, it is, it's the demon. Look at that guy, Bastian Schweinsteiger. This is one of the best centre mids on the game, uh, if you minus his pace out of the equation. Um, he is fantastic at passing, guys. Absolutely amazing. A lot of people say they can't notice the passing. Sorry if you heard a noise, I just punched my mic by accident. Uh, <laughs> so if... Um, yeah, if people say passing doesn't matter, I beg to differ because I think that passing, you, know, you can tell a lot when they do like the first time passes. So if the balls come to him and you want to ping it to somewhere, but you know you have to take a touch first, but there's not enough time, Schweinsteiger can actually take the touch, uh, can do it without taking a touch. You can just ping balls over from the first touch all the time, which is really good. Going to move on to the second the second German midfielder now, and it is Gundogan. Actually got an inform this week for having a fantastic game for Dortmund. Um, one of the most underrated central midfielders on the game. He's got fantastic pace, fantastic shot, and I actually scored a really nice worked goal with him. Uh, I think there's a couple of passes that lead up to it, and he's in the box, and he finesses it around the goalkeeper. It's a really good goal. You should stick around to watch that one at least. And here we go, the Pierre de Resistance. We have got Marco Royce left forward. This is his second inform, guys, and as you can see, it cost... 336 files and this video was made before the market crash so he might be a lot cheaper now because prices have been going through the floor it's been awful but this was one of the best players I've used so far he's so so good I mean I just everything he did was perfect he's fast he's got 92 pace he's got a fantastic shot on him he can score from near enough anywhere he's got great dribbling and great passing he's just an all-round fantastic forward um, I didn't try him in left mid, I tried him in left forward as you can see and that means I got the best out of his attacking features and it was just quality for me. I'm going to move on to the right right forward now and again another Swiss player and it is Shakiri. I think that's how you say his name, I'm not 100% on that but he's just got himself a man of the match card and he's on the left hand side of the pitch. Um, obviously I didn't use that because this video has been made a while ago now and I really enjoyed this because he's right sided player playing with his left foot because his left foot's his preferred foot and same with Marco Royce you can just cut inside his shoot and it's fantastic because you get the best out of both worlds really 
And of course, we're going to move on to the little gem I was talking about earlier, and it is Mario Mandzukic. Um, fantastic player. Some, one, of, one of my subs from Twitter actually told me to use him. Uh, Jen Jen, if you're watching this, that's you. Thank you. And uh, I was really glad that I actually had to try him out. He's fucking so good at heading. Look at his heading stats. 89. He's got a brilliant long shot on him. He's not very, very fast, but he can out strength defender, surprisingly. Such a good little player, guys. He's probably cheap as well now, so if you want to pick him up and try him out, please do. Cheers, guys. Bye.